Hi, I'm Thierry Henry and this is my story. It is Thierry Henry. It's a hat trick! Thierry Henry! Goal scoring machine, world champion, great professional. He's one of the greatest strikers of all time. And judging by this nutmeg, <laughs> he still got it. <laughs> and today you have the front row seat to learn more about the life and amazing career of the legendary Thierry Henry. Let's begin. Now, when you get to sit down and talk with Thierry Henry, a man who's won everything, it's difficult to figure out where to even start. So we decided to take it from the very beginning. Thank you for joining us. How are you doing today? Good, good. Thank you. And yourself? You okay? I'm good, thank you. So, you know, today's going to be a good day. We're going to take a little trip down the memory lane, you know, and let's just get right into it. What's your first memory about playing football? first memory about playing football uh, was with my dad. He took me on the field with a ball and we were just passing the ball at each other. And he's rolling the ball, he tried to hit it. Then he says left foot, then he says right foot and stuff like that. So that was the first memory that I actually have about playing football. What was the first thing about football that actually made you, you know, fall in love with the game? I will say seeing people reaction from games and a goal and defeat and the way people do react sometimes for the game is crazy. I was starting to understand what was happening when I was watching some games and I'm looking at people, they're like, oh, yeah, no, whatever, and I'm like, whoa, that's what it does to you? Then obviously going further into it, then you want to be the best player you can be, then that was another subject and another motivation there. Henri grew up in the suburbs of Paris and started his football career by joining a couple of local clubs during his early years. But his work ethic didn't only include training sessions on the pitch with the team. Instead, the young Thierry Henry was always practicing. Obviously, you practice when you're on the field. But then when I used to go back at home, or when I didn't have any training session, we all used to meet down the building. Even if we were playing on concrete or whatever it was, we were always playing. We were always touching the ball, always playing, touching the ball. So therefore, without noticing it, you're practicing. That's what it is. Repetition, pass, left foot, right foot. And you work on your physical aspect of the game because sometimes you had one ball for the whole neighborhood. So if you don't go and get it, you don't touch that ball for the whole day. You know, it's like, like 45 guys chasing a ball. If you manage somehow to get it, you just kick it. You make sure you run far away from everyone. They come, you push them and you can't complain. That's basically also training right there. And, and there was nothing better than that at one point. Henri got into professional football with AS Monaco, where he made his debut at the age of 17. With Monaco, he gained a lot of experience, but most importantly started working with Arsene Wenger, who would become a key figure in his career. One of the best advice I had in my career was from Arsene. He told me, stop asking yourself the wrong question. What he means by that is if I play with you, I would have said to myself, oh, he didn't see me. Oh, he didn't pass me the ball. I will always have talked about you. Arsene said to me, what could you have done for him to see you? For example, if I had played with you and you didn't see me on one movement, I would have tried to make sure that I was going to make a run for you to see me. Instead of saying, oh, he never sees me. Do you understand what I mean? So I was always aware to say, what can you do to help him to see you? So instead of, of arguing with you, I will try to find a way to make you better. Due to his great performances with Monaco, such as winning the French League in 97, Henri was called up to the World Cup 98 squad of Team France. He joined the team as a young and quite an unknown name for the public, but ended up being the top scorer of Team France with three goals. And yeah, we all know that in 1998, France went all the way through and Thierry Henry was a World Cup winner at just 20 years of age. Yes, as you said, I started with what everybody wants to win. That's what you dream of, winning the World Cup. It's not an easy one, you can easily lose it, you know, but things happen in my life that I stay grounded. I had to, because at one point I went back to the under-21 after I won the World Cup for one and a half years. Two months before I was playing in front of uh, 90,000 people. Two months after I'm playing in Ukraine and 50 people in the stadium. And it's a reality check and that helped me staying focused on what I had to do, the path I was supposed to take. And I started to realize that it's not because you started with that that's going to be easy. It's actually going to be harder. 
Henri experienced some tough times when he left Monaco for Juventus in January 1999. Now, unfortunately, his time in the Italian league never really took off. He wasn't scoring any goals, he didn't play a lot of games, and it was clear that the Serie A was not meant for the Frenchman. However, there was still at least one man who strongly believed in Thierry Henry, his old manager from Monaco, Arsene Wenger, who convinced Henry to move to London and join Arsenal. It's Thierry Henry! He scored! He scored for Arsenal in the bottom bow! Thierry Henry and a shot into the top corner! Wenger had a deep trust in Thierry Henry and he believed he could do great things for the club. And despite the Frenchman not getting on the score sheet in his first eight games for the club, Thierry Henry finished his Arsenal debut season with an impressive 26 goals. From there on, it was a complete Thierry Henry show and Arsenal fans had found themselves their new hero. Everybody knows Thierry Henry. He was, uh, of course, a great footballer, a great striker, but the most important, he was a great professional. For me, especially with Arsenal, it was a pleasure and an honor to play with Thierry. So it was a privilege, yeah. Now, to fully understand what Thierry Henry means and has done for Arsenal should be a separate video in itself. But I'm just going to go ahead and give you some of the highlights. With Arsenal, Thierry Henry won two Premier League titles, including the legendary Invincible season. He won three FA Cups. He's the all-time top scorer of Team Arsenal, who in his prime time was able to win games all by himself. He's broken all the possible goal-scoring records. He scored amazing goals. And arguably, Thierry Henry will always remain as one of the biggest ever Arsenal legends. But even for a club legend like Thierry Henry, there would come a time to leave his beloved Arsenal. And that moment came in the summer 2007 when he joined the Spanish giants FC Barcelona. And his next challenge would be adapting to the Spanish league. It's not an easy one, because when you arrive somewhere, people are not going to open the doors like that for you. You need to make sure that they are going to like you because you adapt to them. Adapt to the philosophy, adapt to the culture, speak the language. Now that was always the first thing for me. Then after that, you need to be good. And that's another story. That's when it starts to be really hard because ultimately fans and guys and teammates are not going to like you just only because you smile well or you're a funny guy or whatever. They want to see you perform and perform well and when you arrive somewhere you need to adapt to them to make sure that after that they can embrace you, yes, but the first step is you going to them. Henri did manage to adapt well into the Barcelona squad and although they didn't win any titles in his debut season with Barcelona, he ended up being the club's overall top scorer with a total of 19 goals in a team packed with the world's best footballers from Ronaldinho and Lionel Messi to Yaya Toure and Samuel Eto'o. Did you ever during your career like just stop for a moment and think that I'm playing football with the best footballers in the world every single day or do you, did you take it for granted? No, I didn't actually took it for granted or thought, sorry, that I was uh, playing with the best player in the world. I was just, you know, ultimately you're there, you perform, you, you don't think about it. You, it is only recently when I, when I stopped playing that I actually saw the name of the guy that I played with. I was like, wow. Once you're there, you, you can't stop and look at what you're doing or you can't just go like there, oh, I'm playing with him, wow. You just go out there and try to perform as long as you can and, and make sure you can win title along the way because ultimately that's the only thing that's going to count. You don't want to be saying to yourself only, I played with those guys. I can actually say, I won with those guys. That's a different type of discussion already that I can have with those guys when I see them another day. Like 10 years or 15 years after, we can talk about a title that we won or a title that we lost sometime, but we won. And oh yeah, they won. In fact, Henri has won it all. In addition to already winning the World Cup 98, the Euro 2000, one French league and two Premier League titles amongst many other awards. With Barcelona, Henri went on to win a record-breaking six trophies in one calendar year in 2009, followed by another La Liga title one year later. This guy has been there, done it all and won it all. And all of you future talents out there definitely have a lot to learn from a guy like Thierry Henry. Listen carefully. Whenever there is a game on TV, I watch it because you can always learn from anyone. And when I say watch as many games as you can, don't watch the ball when you're watching the game. Watch movement, watch how that guy moves, his body position on the field. People might call it boring, but that was my way. What about, you know, if some young kid comes to you and says, Thierry, which one is more important, talent or hard work? Hard work, all day. Hard work will always beat talent if talent sleeps. It's simple as that. Now, if you can have the two, 
talent and hard work, then it's unstoppable. But if talent does sleep, hard work will always win. Again, I repeat, talent with hard work is unstoppable. Anri's time here in Barcelona ended in the summer of 2010 when he joined the MLS side New York Red Bulls on a multi-year contract. During the MLS off period in January 2012, he did go back to Arsenal on a two-month loan where, in the true Anri style, he scored a couple of important goals to make the fans happy one more time. Afterwards, he went back to the MLS for a few more years before officially finishing his amazing career in December 2014. When did you actually know that, okay, it's time to end my career? And how do you know it? People always think that in bracket because they always see the finish article and they only see the game. So they don't know the hard work that is in behind, what you do to reach that level and the desire that you need to have and the commitment and the discipline that you need to have. But at one point, I didn't like pain anymore. That's when you know you need to stop. Don't get me wrong, I was still fit to play, but I couldn't handle pain the same way that I couldn't handle pain before. So that's when you know there is no point. What's next? Thierry Henry? Well, uh, I'm passing my badges right now to try to be a, a coach. It's not an easy task. Seeing the game from the other side is also a reality check for me because uh, I never used to care much about my coach, in all fairness. And now I see the other side and I'm like, hey, it's not an easy job at all. Perfect. Thank you, Thierry. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Thierry Henry is one of football's all-time greats and just trying to fit all of his achievements into a couple of minutes of video turned out to be quite a difficult task. But nevertheless, hopefully you guys out there did get inspired and can use some of Henry's wise words as a little extra push for your own football career as well. And last but not least, if you do want to win a pair of Puma Evo Speed SLs signed by none other than Mr. Henry himself, make sure you follow us on our Unisport Live Snapchat where soon we will be giving away this very pair to one of you lucky guys or girls behind the screen, so stay tuned for that. Anyways, that's it for today. Hopefully you have enjoyed this little video and as always, I'm gonna catch you guys later on right here on Unisport Web TV. I'm out.